What's up everyone, how you doing? Blue Nerd here and welcome back my friends to another Minecraft house tutorial. Today we are back in the docks with another build and we're going to be building this one just here which is a kind of, it's a little kind of woodcutter's lodge. So round the side here, if we come around here, we've got a little wood kind area, we've got a little axe on display with a little saw cutter under there to make it look like it's there for cutting some wood. Uh, but the house is pretty cool and it's attached to the one on the side here as well which we built previously. And overall guys, I think this is a really cool little build. I really like the look of this one. And there's been a whole bunch of requests to build it. So, with that being said guys, let's take a look at what we're going to need to build it. Okay guys, for this build you're going to need some cobblestone, stone and stone bricks. Now, it's up to you guys. If you want the walls to look textures like I have, you need to use all three. But if you want to, you can just go ahead and put cobblestone in. It's entirely up to you. Now, I'm also going to be using some oak logs, some stripped oak wood, some oak stairs some glass panes and glass blocks of your choice. I'm going with the light grey stained version. We're also going to be using some spruce planks, slabs, stairs and buttons, some stripped birch wood, some dark oak planks, slabs, stairs and trapdoors. And then it's just a matter of some decorational stuff. So grab yourself some leaves, flower pots, get yourself the stone cutter because it looks like a sort of blade that might cut the wood. You can also grab some logs of your choice, some lanterns, a campfire, and maybe a few note blocks or maybe some barrels or chests just to look like a bit of storage. But with that being said guys, let's go ahead and get building. Okay guys, here is a layout of the floor plan and this floor plan is actually going to be slightly different to the one I actually made on the docks. Where the pink wall is here, we're going to slightly extend this wall back a little bit. It's going to look pretty much the same, the wall's just going to be slightly longer so we'll have one extra window on that side. Um, but it should make the build line up a bit better with the other building and stop it from blocking off the window um, right in the middle of it. Now, as you can see guys, the red blocks here, we got our one block pillars. The orange blocks are going to be our one block walls. The blue blocks are two blocks. The yellow blocks are three blocks. And the pink blocks are seven blocks. So, with that being said guys, let's get building. Okay guys, before we get started, because we're building this one against this house here, the first thing we're going to need to do is organize this wall a little bit. So first of all, let's go ahead and remove any of our bushes on here and these trapdoors that are supporting. We want to remove the slabs across from here, all the slabs here, this one up here. Remove the windows and the glass panes, including these ones here and these two up here. Now, what you want to do is get yourself some stripped birch wood and you just want to fill these windows in like this. Do the same for these ones here. Now, all we want to do here now is break away this little lamp here and this edge that runs just that one block over. Okay, so just break all of these, this little spruce wood edge all the way up to the top for now. We're going to break this bit here coming down just like so and then we can go ahead and we can leave that button there but this one this one and this one we can remove and we're gonna have some logs coming on here so let's go ahead break this one here and then these all the way across to there okay we're starting from this red block here as you can see so therefore we don't need to break this piece here okay that should be pretty good that should be good enough Oh, and while we're there, we may as well go ahead and break these ones and fill these as well, because these are going to be covered up. So fill that with your cobblestone. Right, once you've done that, go ahead and get your logs. And you want to start over from the front of the dock here, and we're going to start from the front left-hand side of the build. So let's place a log just here. Leave a one-block gap to the right, place one there. Two-block gap coming down, and place one here. A three-block gap to the right, with a two block gap behind, one block gap to the right, three blocks behind, two blocks to the right, three behind it, two to the left, seven blocks gap forwards here, seven blocks to the side here, and then a seven block down here, a three block gap here, and then you should have a three block gap between that block and the one that we started with. Now remember guys, all these numbers are for the gaps, okay? So only count the blocks in between the pillars and don't include the pillars. Okay, right, so 
that is our layout all done what we're going to do is start from the log we started with and raise it by three so okay so put three more on top making it four in total and we're going to do this all the way around Once you get to this side guys, you're literally going to go 1, 2, 3 and just let it join onto this wall here, it's fine. 1, 2, 3 here, okay, and then 1, 2, 3 here. Okay, once you're done, we're going to head over to the log that we started with again. And at the top here, we're going to place a log like that and we're just going to run it all the way around the top on the outside edge, joining all of the logs together, okay, and we're going to do it all the way around. Okay, once you've done that guys, from the front here, we're going to start by placing a log on each side of here and one in the centre, so we have a one log gap between it. We're going to place one here, break that one behind there and make sure that that wood runs straight across there. We're also going to do the same on this side and this side here, so that the log runs all the way down. Let's place one here and again replace that one behind so that it faces downwards. So, we should have something like this at the front now. On this side down here, we're going to do the same thing. So break these two here, place two facing outwards and one in the center. Then coming down to the back here, we're going to break this one, place two here, and then one on every other block all the way across. And then we can break that stair there and place one right in that corner there. Okay, perfect. Now let's get the cobblestone out and starting from where we started on this corner here we're just going to basically fill these gaps up so we're going to fill it up with three and just run it in between the gap like this all the way around so just basically fill in the walls in between all of these pillars okay all the way around so we're going to go ahead and do that guys fill that all in and then once we're done we can break out some windows and doors and stuff like that. Alright guys, once you're done, you should have something that looks a bit like this. Now, from the front of the dock here, we're going to come around to this little bit around the side here, and we're going to break these two out here for a doorway, okay? That's going to be our doorway, and we can go ahead and just replace that in the center there, so that we've got a nice little pathway into it. Right, okay, now that that's all in place, guys, let's start getting in the floors. So we're going to start with the ground floor. So let's go ahead and all of the ground, all the floor we can see in here, let's go ahead and replace it with some planks of your choice. So I'm going to be using the spruce planks like this, but you guys could use any color planks you want. Just go ahead, dig it out, and replace it with whatever flooring you wish. Okay guys, once you've filled in your floor on the ground floor, you want to fill in your next floor, which is going to be in line with the pillars here, okay? So where you have this oak log that runs across as, as the beam, you want to go ahead and just fill in a floor at this height. And remember guys, if you're playing in survival, be sure to put some torches in that on the inside to brighten it all up so you can see what you're doing and to stop mobs from spawning. Okay guys, now that that's in place, let's start working on the next floor. So first of all, at the very front here where we've got this little piece here, on this one and this one, we're going to place one log like that and then raise them both by three more, making them four in total. Okay, just like that. Then we're going to come over to this corner and we're going to place five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it should be one higher than the ones at the front. Do the same on this one here. Okay, perfect. Now... We're going to go from here and we're going to place a log on this corner here. Again, bringing it up to five blocks high. Same on this corner. Bringing it up to five. This one here, raising to five. This one here, to five. 
Now, from this point, guys, we're going to work out a little wall. So if we come from that corner all the way over to here, we're going to raise this one here to five as well. Then we're going to place one in between here, 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 and then one right there, okay? And then we're going to basically raise those all to the same level. Perfect. Okay, now this is the wall that's going to be extended, which is going to be longer than the one I said before. Because remember before, I think it finished about here. So we've got an extra two windows on this side, and it just makes it blend in with the other building a little bit nicer. So let's go back down to where we started over here. And we're going to go one lock here, one lock here, and one lock here. This one here, let's break that one and face it that way. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four, making it five in total. Okay, and that is pretty much perfect, guys. That is cool. Now, what we're going to do is get out spruce stairs, come around to where we started again, place an upside down one in that gap, one, two in these gaps, one in this gap. Over here, we're going to place two in the gaps. And then down here, one, two, three, four in those gaps. Then we're going to come underneath, place an upside down one in that corner there, which might conflict with that one there a little bit. So maybe break it, maybe put a slab. Yeah, put a slab under that one. And then we're going to put a stair underneath this one, this one, this one, this one, this one here, this one here, and this one here. Basically all the ones with a pillar. Now around this side here, where we have these little gaps here for windows, we're going to just place a stair like that, okay? And then we're going to place a stair in, well, we, on this one here, you could, we've already got a stair for the roof here, so I don't want to wreck that. So we're going to put a full block in there, and then we're going to place in a upside down stair here and here, so that we can get three small windows in there. And then on top of it, we can just go ahead and put in a plank on top like this. Now, round over here, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to place one, two, three, four in here. Leave a two block gap and then place this one on the third. Make sure it's upside down. And then go ahead and just place a stair, uh, a full block on top. Now, we're going to head over to the stripped oak wood. And we're going to start from this pillar here where we started. And we're going to place one on that stair that's sticking out. One here and then just join into this corner here. Bring it across here. Then we're going to go one, two, three, and then join one and there again on top of that upside down stair. Then we're going to just fill this gap here, this gap here, and basically just follow the outline of the edge of the build. Leave these gaps here, obviously, because we've got our little windows. Down to the end here, we're going to fill this one all the way across to there. Then we're going to leave this bit here, and for now, We'll, we'll, we'll leave that actually because we could probably make use of that extra little bit of space so we're now going to go ahead and raise all of these up until they are level with the tops of the build so let's do this we're going to go on this one here guys you want to place two okay and then on this one here you want to bring it up to there so it's one block higher this one at the front again raise it to the height of the pillars these two here raise them to the height of the pillars Okay, then the little corner behind here, we're going to raise this one up to five, making it one block higher. Okay, now the rest of the walls that we marked at the bottom here, we can go ahead and raise these until they are in line with our pillars, which would be five blocks high. Okay, and then finally, just on this end here, we're going to go ahead and do the same like this. Okay, guys, right, that is looking pretty good. I'm really happy with that. Now, let's just grab our spruce planks and head into the upper floor up here. And we're just going to break these little logs that we can see in here and just replace them with a plank. Okay, just whatever flooring you've used, just match it up so that it all blends in. Make sure you do it all the way around because there will be a few spots of them. Perfect. Right, okay, let's start working on the roofs now. 
So let's start with the little roof at the front here. So what we're going to do, where we've got the, um, the front of the docks here, let's start with this little one here. Start by running one, two, three spruce stairs and then one there. That makes four. And then upside down one there. Upside down one on this side and then four running down that way. Now we're going to place a full block on top with a normal stair on top. Upside down stair with a full, full block on top of that one. And then two stairs facing each other with an upside down one in the middle. One on the top and one facing out. Nice and easy. Now, we're going to go to this roof here at the back, which is going to be the main roof that runs all the way across. Now, here, guys, you want to start from the corner and just bring some across like this. You've got one, two, three, four, five, and then place a six one to overhang by one. Place an upside down one here against the log pillar. And then from this side here, we're going to place an upside down one there. And then just run our stairs all the way across. Now again, we're going to follow that same roof pattern. So there's going to be a full block on here with an upside down block on top. A normal block on top rather. Then an upside down block on the back of that one. A full block on top. Normal stair on top. Upside down one behind it. Full block on top. Normal stair. Upside down stair. Full block on top. Then two stairs facing each other with an upside down one in the middle and a normal stair on top and one sticking out from the front. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Right, now, from here we're going to go down to the side here. So let's extend this one over and place one extending out the side. Upside down one there. Upside down one against that pillar. And then we're going to run stairs all the way down here. And then we're just going to run them right down to the back here. Overhang by one. Place an upside down one there. Let's place a full block on here at the very back. And we're going to repeat that same pattern, okay? So let's go a stair. Upside down stair. A full block. Stair. Upside down stair. And then a full block. Stair. Upside down stair. Full block, stair, upside down stair. Now, this should be right in the center. And if it is, we're going to break that one and face it outwards like that. Let's go ahead and place a normal stair on top with one facing outwards. Then we're going to place one to the side here. We're going to place a full block underneath, upside down one, and basically start reversing the pattern. Okay, so stair, full block, upside down stair normal stair we're gonna keep the stairs so let's go ahead and we'll put in a stair there upside down stair in there let's put an upside down a normal stair facing inwards like that then we're gonna place the block going down upside down stair the normal stair And then I think we're going to go like this and place two full blocks into that roof. Yeah, that will do. That will do the trick. Perfect. Okay, so now it looks like it actually goes into the roof and it sort of becomes part of the roof. That's good. Right, now guys, over to this little roof here and we're going to place our blocks on top with our stairs on top. Upside down stairs. Four blocks stairs upside down one in the center normal one on the front uh, normal one on the top upside down one for poking outwards right okay that is looking pretty good let's grab our stripped oak wood and on the roof peak at the very front here we're going to place three more on top of here then three more again and a single one on top of that then we're going to do the same down here. So on the side, place three, then three, then one. Grab your oak logs. And from this point here, we're going to... Where are we? Let's have a look. Okay, yep. So what we're going to do here is we're going to actually break these two here and these two here. Place the log going all the way across and join up to this side. 
then we've got a pillar there so go one here one here one here this one's going to be four blocks high and this one here will be four blocks and then two three four five six seven blocks high for the one in the center now go ahead and get yourself some stripped birch and you want to place two on this side two on this side one two three four five six here and six in here and we're going to basically repeat that down the back here so let's get our log we're going to break that top row going to join the log all the way across to here one from the corner so we go one two three four one two three four five six seven and one two three three four and of course we're just going to fill that with our sort of uh, our birch stripped birch wood with two on the sides and then six in these two gaps here there we go excellent right we're going to put a chimney in at some point guys but for now we're going to leave that as it is and I think that is all good now. So we're good now to actually get the roof all in place, I think. So let's get some of our dark oak wood here. So you're going to get the planks, the slabs, and the stairs. And you know, it's probably a good idea just to get the spruce slabs as well, because we will be using those in a minute as well. Now, for the roof, guys, it's very simple. Where we have the four planks at the, at the front here, we're going to just connect the four planks to the wall. So there. One in the center at the top where we have the upside down stair. And then we're going to do that. So we've got our plank block. See, we've got our spruce planks here. Spruce planks here. Just basically use dark oak and join it to the wall. Then run your stairs. Your stairs. And the same on this side. And then run some spruce slabs across the very top like so. Now, again here, guys, it's pretty easy. We get the we get the plank here. We're going to run the dark oak to the corner and then join it up to this one. Bring it down again. We're going to go one block further back and join it up to this one here. This one here is going to go all the way from here all the way down to the back of the build and then join up to this side here. Here, we're going to bring it down all the way and join up with this one just in there okay so that goes all the way down place one here in the center and then just run that all the way across to the center of the um so this one here on the bottom here again we're going to bring some dark oak all the way down and join it up to there okay right let's continue this let's go with the dark oak all the way down the center at the very top All the way down here again the upside down stair in the middle bring that one all the way down to the back as well this one here then we're gonna go one and two one here um, we're gonna actually place another one in just there and another one there and then just join up to the middle of this bit of the roof then we're just going to extend this all the way back down and join it up to here. Bring another one from underneath, again the full plank and just join it up to this one here. Okay, and then finally we're going to bring this one here all the way across. Break that stair there and we'll go ahead and from behind here, if we can just break that stair for the moment and then we'll put one going around that little bit of the corner there and then put our plank in there then that should be good let's go ahead put that plank back in there i'm going to change this one here for a log we could go ahead and put some upside down stairs on the inside here like this just to cover up the stair the um the polished and uh, polished dot, uh, polished granite <laughs> sorry guys my words they ain't coming out today Right, okay, so that is all of our planks in place for the roof. We're going to have to just quickly break one here so we can get out and place it back again. Now from here, it's pretty much just placing planks, uh, uh, sorry, stairs on top of all of the planks. Okay, so let's go ahead and just pretty much run our stairs all the way across, join to that side there. At this point here, we're going to put a stair there and then bring it all the way down. And then this one here, bring it all the way down. And 
And we're going to just go all the way across for that one. Put one in that way, one there. Um, for here, I guess we could just do that. And then maybe we could get in a full block about there. Yeah, that'll do. And if you wanted to, to be honest, guys, I think what I might do here is break that one and then just actually put slabs. So from here, let's just join slabs all the way across the top, joining up there, and then all the way down this bit here as well. Make sure you don't break that stair, there's no need, and then bring it all the way down with your slabs. Yeah, that looks a little bit better, I think. And then, hmm, let's see if we can do sank here. Let's put a, let's break that one. And because it's joined to this one here, let's put in that one there like that. And in fact, no, we won't do that. Let's put in a spruce plank and then the spruce stair on top there, which makes it look like the roof is finished and joining in there. Yeah, I think that will work. It's not the best join into the roof there, guys, but I think it will work. I think I'm good with it. Okay, let's just finish off our roof now, guys. So we're going to basically run stairs all the way around the edge like this. Making sure they wrap around the corners. And I'm going to go ahead, fill this bit in, this one in, this one in, this one across this side, and any of these ones down here as well, just to make sure we just complete our roof. So let's go ahead and quickly get that in. Okay guys, now that that roof is all in place, let's go ahead and just break out a few windows. So we've already got some windows around the side here and we do have a little bit more work to do around the side here, which we'll do in just a minute, but let's get our windows all in place first. So from the top floor, first of all, we're gonna make a two block window here with one block above it like that. Then we're gonna come around the side here and guys, I actually made a little mess up here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this little wall here out, okay? Just like that, and then we'll go ahead, just break these ones here. And what we're gonna do, we've got a pillar that side, so let's put one here and one here. Okay, so from the outside, it should look like this. And we're gonna raise those all the way up to the top there. Like that, we should have some windows in there like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab our planks. Let's place a full plank in the top there. And then we're going to place an upside down stair at the very top and one at the bottom there as well. Over here, guys, just the same again. Let's put two windows just there and one just there. We've got our windows down the side here. And down the back here, we're not going to have no windows because we're going to have a chimney that comes up the side here. Now, down the bottom here, guys, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to go for a one block window like this on all three of them. Let's get ourselves some... Um, actually, do you know what? Let's get the stone brick stairs. And don't worry, guys. I know it's a different block, but we will be texturizing some of this up, so it will be perfectly fine. We we'll place stairs at the bottom and stairs at the tops of the windows like this. And if you wanted to, just so that it, it looks a little bit more natural, because we will be changing up some of these. So let's get that. Let's get uh, some of those. So what we do is let's put in, say, a stair there of the cobblestone, cobblestone stair there. So get a little bit of a variety there. And then what you can do is start adding in some texture variation into your walls like this. Okay, so add in a few bricks, not too many. And then maybe just add in a few stone blocks as well. Again, just don't go too crazy with it. You want it to still look fairly natural. Something like that, okay? So we've got three windows down the side here. Where the door is, I'm going to place one there. And again, I'm going to add a bit of texture variation here. Okay. So guys, go around on your ground floor here and just put in whatever texture variation you want in these walls. Okay. Again, make sure it's just very natural. Don't organize any pattern or anything like that because it will look very sort of unnatural. So just go ahead, throw in a few of each like this. 
And that should be good. Something like that. Okay, go ahead, do that all the way around on your ground floor. And then go ahead and break out any windows that you want. I think one here will probably look good. And one there on that side. And then I'll probably leave the rest of this. But I am going to go ahead and just get in my texture variation. So I'm going to go around and do that quickly, guys. If you want to go ahead and get your texture variation in as well, that would be cool. Um, and I'll catch you back in just a moment. Okay, guys. And um, once you're done, go ahead and get yourself some either normal stairs or cobblestone stairs, stone brick stairs. Just get some stairs in on the windows and that here just to kind of add a little bit of depth and also make sure you vary them so that you get a bit of variation in the texture because I think it really does make a difference. Something a bit like that. I think that looks pretty good and I think I might actually go ahead and put that one there. Yeah, that looks cool. Okay, right, so we've got all of the windows all cut out and stuff like that, guys. Let's go ahead and start filling in our windows. So around the side here, we're going to put two in these. So two all the way across like this. Let's put two in this one. One at the top. Actually, no. This one at the front here is going to be different. Let's place two at the side here, two here. In the center, place two of the full blocks. And then we're going to go ahead and get our spruce wood slab. And we're going to just place that underneath like this and across the top like that. And we get a nice little kind of bay window, which I think is really cool. Right, let's continue around the build around here. And we're going to continue to fill in these windows here. Make sure you don't miss any of the windows as you're going around. So make sure you get the ones in the bottom as well. Something like that. Again, we're going to place one in here. We're going to place out three slabs across here, three across this one let's get two full blocks in and then two glass panes at each side like this let's fill all of these windows in here and the windows down the bottom here as well and that should be good guys we should be good with that right okay so i think that's good on this window here actually guys what i think we'll do let's break that I want to move that one just up one like that and then we can put a little slab outside that. Yeah, that looks cool. Right, okay, yeah, guys, that's looking pretty good. I'm really happy with that. Now, let's start working on this side here. So we're going to have a little bit of a sort of working area here. So first of all, let's get rid of the little flower pot down here and the flowers. Get rid of all of this. And we're going to go ahead and just put in some cobblestone, stone bricks and stuff like that. Something like that should be good. Perfect. Right, okay. So, now for here again, guys, we're going to use some of our roof blocks. So, let's go ahead and get our dark oak slabs. We're going to get our spruce slabs. And then we're going to need some oak logs as well. So, right. We're going to start from here. So where you have your opposite house, which is this one over here, we're going to go up. So on the first block of this log, we're going to go to the top half of the second block. And we're going to bring it down by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So we should be one block in from this bit here. Place one there. And then we're going to just step it up half a block at a time like this all the way across to there. Okay, joining it up. Then get your dark oak slabs. And for here, we're going to actually bring these all the way across like this, just underneath that window. And again, we're just going to step these down and join this up all the way across. You may have to break that button on that block there, but it doesn't matter. It's no big deal. Okay, looking good. Then we're just going to get our oak log and we're going to place it right here. Oops, right here in the corner. If we can get it right, let's place one there and one there. Right on that little corner there, so that gives us like a kind of little bit of a workspace. Okay, now that roof's in place, guys, let's come around this side. So we're going to start working on one around this side as well, a little roof. So what we're going to do 
is where we've got this log here, okay, we're going to go to one to the left, go one, two, and place a block on the third. Let's go one, two, let's go three. Yeah, three should be about right. Place a slab here. We're going to join this all the way down to the, the upside down stair there. Place one here and then just join it across like this. Actually, no, not like that. Place one. Instead, we're going to place one here and then step this side up like this and join to that block there. Then we're just going to go ahead and throw in our dark oak slabs. All the way across like this. And all the way across like so. Perfect. Okay, this is shaping up pretty good. Now guys, in my previous build, what I did actually do is these stairs here were actually oak. They were like this. So it's up to you whether you want to change them. Okay, so they kind of match in with a wall a bit more. Or you can leave them with the spruce. I don't know. I think I like it both ways. So I don't really know which one I prefer of the two. I'm going to just go with this for now, I think, because this is the way that i done it on the um, on the tutorial, on the original build. But for now, I'm going to just put in some dark planks in there so that that blends in with the ledge. And then we're going to just put in the oak like so. Yeah, I don't really know which way I prefer. I think they both look good. Okay, right, once you got that all done, guys, that is pretty much the build complete. We're going to go around to this side here and start working on the chimney now. So the chimney can be done however you wish, guys, but I'm going to make the chimney center. So I'm going to start by coming down to the bottom here. I'm going to place some cobblestone first of all. So let's go one, two, three cobblestone. Then I'm going to place... Uh, how are we going to do this? Let's go one here and then two. Let's make a three by three. Okay, so this is the center and then we'll place two rows of three at each side. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to raise this by another two. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place three across here like so. Three on top. And we're going to just raise that by another two more. So that should be four in total. So this one is three and then one, two, three, four. Now, get your cobblestone stairs, place one this side, one this side, and then one in the center. Then raise that center one by four blocks, and then place an, a normal stair on top like so. Now, to give us a bit more shape here, guys, I'm going to place two down here like this, and two down here. Then we're going to place some cobblestone, and some cobblestone like that. On the top here, I'm going to actually break that one on the corner there, place a stair, that one there, and then put a stair in that way. Okay, and if you wanted to, you could go ahead and maybe put a stair in like that, or maybe even like that. Just to create a bit of a bulk for a chimney. And then what you want to do is go to the roof, break this block here, okay, which is you've got your stair, a slab, so the stair facing out, the normal stair, slab, this one here, and then just put in a few a few blocks. It's up to you how big you want it. You haven't got to do it that big. You can build it as big as you wish. But uh, you can do a little short one like this. Um, you can even bring it out the side if you wanted to bring it out the side. So let's go ahead and let's just put that back there for a minute. You could also go ahead maybe and bring it over this side. So it looks like it just comes over a tad something like that you know just stack a few of them up there's no need to go too crazy just a straight one will do and then of course you want to get yourself a campfire and some trapdoors place your campfire on top surround it with your trapdoors and that is your chimney all in place now you can you could go ahead and use bricks here as well if you wanted guys bricks would look perfectly fine um, but for me, I'm going to use this and I'm going to add a little bit of texture variation. So I'm going to add in some stone bricks and I'm just going to add in a few of them. Nothing too crazy. Something like that. And then this guy here, and let's just put in a bit of stone as well. Seems that that's our kind of variation textures.
something like that and then maybe one in there as well yeah i think that looks pretty cool and i'm pretty happy with that now guys it's just down to a bit of decorating so let's place some spruce buns on the fronts of all the logs on the way around something kind of like that i think that looks pretty good then around this side here i'm going to use this for a bit of storage so let's go ahead let's get some dark oak logs some spruce logs then i guess we'll just grab some barrels leaves flower pots lanterns and uh, maybe just a couple of flowers maybe them ones okay right so that is pretty much it really so now the decoration side let's go ahead and stack up some logs underneath here so let's go say four there three two one and then just kind of switch it up a little bit so bring it in by three then two then one there one two and then one and what i sometimes like to do is actually change the odd logs like this just so it looks a little bit more kind of realistic and then maybe just stack in a few barrels like so yeah why not a few barrels like that i think that looks good and you can even go ahead here guys and get yourself some note blocks depends on how your note block looks but if you want to change if you want um if you want to put it in you can this note block looks a bit like a crate texture so we can go ahead and maybe just put in a couple around here um maybe even one there and one up there why not this little bit down here we're gonna make a little flower sort of section there so around the front here i think something like that a few little boxes let's put in some crates there um, we can just even change some of them like i said for some of our uh, barrels be something like that i think that looks pretty good um okay right so we've got that down here again guys let's go ahead and just place in a bunch of logs that look a bit like storage again making them one shorter each time gives you that little sort of you know chance to kind of just make it look a little bit more sort of like they're naturally stacked Yeah, something like that and again i'm gonna go ahead just break a couple out like that and we're gonna pray replace them with some oak logs see that looks pretty good let's go ahead and let's place down a dark oak log just here we're gonna put a log there for a minute let's put actually let's put it down let's put it down about here just to make it look like it's a bit of a log that may have been cut and then a couple of logs there i think then we're just going to grab ourselves the um i always forget the name of it what is it called the stone cutter there we go gets the stone cutter and then an item frame and we'll probably just grab ourselves an axe let's get a stone axe there that will do Let's put an item frame on here and maybe one on here and then we could just put ourselves an axe in there. There we go. That looks good. And then we could just put our stone cutter down here so it looks like it's, it can be used to cut wood. And guys, I think that looks pretty good. Right, so we've got the details in there. We've got all of our details in here. We've got a chimney in place okay yeah that's pretty much done so let's go ahead let's get a little flower pot in so for the flower pot i'm gonna go ahead and use some dark oak slabs let's get ourselves a door because we're gonna need a door on this house so if we go onto the inside here boom there's our door yeah that's looking really cool so i guess in fact we're gonna use the spruce one not the dark oak because the spruce will blend in nicer with the pillar so let's go one two one two ooh, three no let's do that break the corner so two one and one and then we're gonna actually need a little bit of dirt here guys just to make it look a little bit more natural so let's go ahead and just put these like 
this, some dirt in there. Go ahead, put in a few bushes, something like this. And then what I like to do, something that I think works pretty well, is get some trapdoors. It can be dark, it could be spruce. And what you want to do is you want to put some like this somewhere, okay? And then what you'll do is get your get your uh, leaves. And then you can kind of just dangle them down. Something like that. I think that trapdoor there would look better. Here we go. Boom. You know, just try and make it look like it's just being supported, really. And you can always throw on a couple of flower pots with some flowers or even some saplings inside them, something like that. Let's place a few of these just around somewhere. So let's put one there, one there. Maybe one there as a drinking cup. And then just go ahead and stick some flowers inside them. Okay, once you're done guys, don't forget to add in some flowers. I'm going to put in a couple of little flowers down the bottom there. And then guys, around here you can go ahead and just do the same kind of thing. So maybe put in just a few of your bushes like this. Bring it down. Maybe just overhang in that corner, something like that. Let's put in a couple more across here. And we could even dangle some into there like that. And then dangle it maybe on the edge here. Something a bit like that, maybe. You know, make a couple of holes in the roof if you need to so that it can dangle. Even dangle it onto the inside. Something a bit like that. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, you could even really just dangle some here. Let's put one there. Maybe not those ones. And we could leave maybe that like that um actually i think i preferred that yeah i think that would do guys just a little bit of sort of you know just a little something there on the roof and it just adds in a little bit of um a little bit of color something like that go ahead add in a few flower pots on top of these as well if you want i think they do add a little bit of uh it's a little bit of detail and guys, I think that is just about it. I think we are all finished up now. Everything seems to all be in place. The only one thing I would say is go ahead and get your lanterns and maybe just put them on the corners of your roofs. I think this adds a really nice kind of look, even in these little corners like this. It just gives the place a really nice little look and it brightens everything up as well so that you can see everything that's going on. Something like that. And maybe even down here, you could go ahead and put in a lantern underneath somewhere. So maybe, boom, right about there. A little bit of light while you're there. Maybe, uh, maybe your man needs a bit of light while he's working at night. So add in a couple down here. And guys, that is pretty much it. That is everything. Now, guys, I'm not going to do all the interior here. The interior is down to your entire preference. It's up to you what you want to do with it. I've got so many places that I already need to do interior work for, so I don't know which builds I'm going to be getting around to doing interiors in, but I will be getting around to as many of them as I can. Um, but I've got so many projects going on at the moment, it's a little hard trying to keep up with all the interiors. So guys, we're going to wrap it up just there. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did or you have any suggestions, please remember to let me know in the comments below. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. Just don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. But for now, this is Blue Nerd signing out. And I will catch you guys in the next one.